closer. We might have a signal one over here. Sir, is your foot on the brake there? Hey, sir. Are you okay? Two door brake closed with John Eastman. At a 2497 7 Excuse me, sir. Are you okay? Then turn the vehicle off, okay? Turn the vehicle off, sir. Huh? Yeah, I'm trying to turn the freaking car off. There. Can you just hold him back so I can put him? All right. Do me a favor. Step up. Hi. Yeah. Put the vehicle in park. Step by the vehicle. Vehicle. He was like, oh, careful. Oh, All right. Have, have, have a seat over there. Step over here, sir. I'm going to take a seat. Have a seat. What's going on, sir? Are you okay? No, no I'm not okay. You're not okay? No. When I saw you, you were outside of the vehicle. Vehicle. In the car. Yeah. Car still in drive. Right. What's going on tonight? You had loads of drink? Huh? Have you had something to drink tonight? No, I'm just waiting. I'm just trying to get home. You're trying to go home? Yeah. Okay. Do you have your license on you? Huh? Is your license in the vehicle? No, it's in my wallet. Okay. Hello? 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 You said it's in his wallet. He's getting it. Where are you coming from? Huh? Where are you coming from? What's your name? John. John what? Guzman. John Guzman. Where are you coming from tonight? A friend's house. A friend's house? Okay. I live right down the street. Okay. Where's your where's your driver's license, sir? In the car. It's in the car. Uh, I can't. I, I don't know where it is. It's, it's fine. Car. Just keep your hands out your pockets for me, okay? Where are you coming from? I was, I was at a friend's house. You were at a friend's house doing what? Yeah. Huh? What were you doing? I was hanging out with a friend. You're hanging out with a friend. Yeah. Okay. You realize when I saw you, you were passed out, head out of the window. Throw up next to you on the ground. You passed out. While driving? Okay. Yeah. Get your hands out of your pockets, please. Thank you. Just go ahead and take a seat for now. <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah, I think it is. All right. Bravo, are you coming? Huh? <clears throat> Gotta hang tight just a second, okay? You work for the sheriff's office? Bravo 5 to Bravo 20. Good. Can you be 51 over here, please?
How long you worked over there for? Three years. Three years. Hey, do me a favor, say 10 12. Yeah. Say 10 12 for me. Hmm? You don't have to have any weapons on you, do you? No, no. We're just going to pass it down real quick just to make sure, okay? You can stand up for it. Your duty weapon is not on you or in the vehicle. Hmm. Based on my training and experience, we're passed out behind the wheel and physical control of that vehicle. We're all about side of the car. There's a profound odor of alcohol coming from your, from your body. Okay? And your bloodshot water, guys, on top of that. I'm going to afford you at this time to uh, complete a series of field sobriety exercises. Is that something you wish to do? No. No? Okay. Can you ever go ahead and stand up for me? Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Oh, 
Test of your breath. Your privilege to operate a motor vehicle will be suspended for a period of one year for the first refusal and a period of 18 months if it is previously suspended for refusal to submit to a test of your breath, urine, or blood. Furthermore, if you refuse to submit to this chemical test of your breath and your driving privilege has yes. been previously suspended for a prior. Sir, are you paying attention? Yeah. Okay. For a prior uh, refusal to submit to a lawful test of your breath, urine, or blood, you commit a misdemeanor in addition to any other penalties. Refusal to submit to any chemical test of your breath upon the request of a law enforcement officer shall be ad admissible into court in any criminal proceeding. Okay? Yeah. Are you going to submit to a test? No. No? I think it's going to be In this day and age, qualified immunity remains one of the deadliest threats to U.S. citizens. There is no doubt, and as witnessed daily, that as long as police officers in our uncivilized nation are encouraged to murder without consequences, we can expect no improvements to our life expectancy. According to the United States National Academy of Sciences, and I quote, Police in the United States kill far more people than do police in other advanced industrial democracies. To date, Colorado, New Mexico, and New York have repealed qualified immunity, and we remain hopeful that in the near future, serial killers with badges will be held accountable for the unreasonable execution of citizens. Furthermore, the Academy of Sciences additionally says, journalists have stepped into this void and initiated a series of systematic efforts to track police-involved killings. And I bid to you, my fellow citizens, that this rampage of certified murders must be stopped for the safety of our children, handicapped, and veterans. Please support the new Institute for Justice and their Americans Against Qualified Immunity campaign. Check them out at www.aaqi.com. You'll also find them on Facebook and Twitter. That's Americans Against Qualified Immunity. That's all for now, my brothers and sisters. Stay safe and always film the police.